Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a video on the house of Be Laird. And it's a company that started last year in 2019. They started out with single notes and inspired creations and original blends of perfumes. The inspired creations though are perfumes inspired by other really popular perfumes that are out there. Their single notes are just like what they sound like. They're single note perfumes that you can use to layer, which is why the company is called Be Layered. And their original creations are ones that they created themselves and they're sort of their own thing. Um, it's a really cool company. I really enjoy them. I have 23 of their fragrances and I've been trying to keep up to date with a lot of the new releases. And that's what I'm gonna do today is sort of go through my collection from Be Layered it's a little extensive it's, it's a lot at times but i really do like the company they are amazing they have quality as far as the perfume goes and i'm all about quality i'm all about saving a dollar if i can getting quality you know that bang for your buck because they're really affordable the price point on layered is like really really good and i highly suggest you guys go check them out it's belayered.com if you really want to, you know, get some scents in your collection, it's a great starting point. The price is right, the scents are all right. Like, we're gonna get through this video. And I'm gonna go through my single notes first because I feel like those are the ones I have the least of, but they're not bad. Just because I have the least of those doesn't mean that they're bad or anything. By no means are any of these bad. I don't think I have one single bad one, which is crazy because normally like, I'm not all here for everything a company puts out. I'm here for it with Layered. So the first one that I have is a little sample and this is of Gelato. And this one just came out not that long ago. And it's just like the name says, it's Gelato. It's a vanilla gelato to me. I smell a really luxurious ice cream when I smell gelato. And I really do like it. This would be great for layering. Any fragrance that you wanna make a little sweeter, great for layering with a floral scent with candied scents with basically anything really you can't go wrong with like a good vanilla and they do have their own other vanilla scent and this isn't that but this is like a more creamy sort of ice creamy vibe and i really do enjoy this one a lot the next one i have is neroli sunshine and it's just neroli it's really bright it's florally it's kind of citrusy it's a perfect neroli if you're a fan of neroli and want to brighten up a scent and make it more sparkling i highly suggest checking out this one it's honestly full bottle worthy i only have a sample at the moment and i'm probably going to get this in time for summer because it smells so dang good and it's just a beautiful beautiful scent another one that i have is ancient amber and this is just like the name says it's an amber scent so it's kind of deep it's a little woody to me it kind of has that vintage book vibe like when you have an old book and you sort of sniff it it's like if you had an old book and it was sweet somehow and you were sniffing the pages that sort of dusty sweet vibe that's what I get from this and it's actually really beautiful if you want to add depth to your perfume you can definitely use amber to get that sort of effect a really really beautiful amber i highly suggest checking this one out as well if that's something that you're interested in the next one that i just got not that long ago actually a couple days ago it's another single note one and this one is eden rose and i actually really enjoy this one to me this smells like delina and i know that's weird but you took all the notes out of Delina and just left the rose note, that rose heart that Delina is known for. This is that. It's literally that same rose that is in Delina. Just without all the other like components like the rhubarb, the lychee, any of that. And it smells so beautiful. You want to add that sort of rosiness to a scent. And this is a really great option. I highly suggest checking that one out. Oop, there goes one of them. So the only one that I have a full bottle of, and the bottles are beautiful in my opinion. I love the layered bottles, they're so cool. Like I, well this is the new style bottle. They used to have an older style that was 
bigger and sort of had this really long cap that I wasn't here for. Um, they did away with that and they are doing these bottles now and I actually love these with the wooden cap and it's got the logo up top. This one is Geneva Chocolate and this one is so yummy. I really do love this one. When I put my nose to this one, I was like, that's happening. I'm having this one. It's a moment. It's a vibe. You can wear this alone. You can layer it with another fragrance. I absolutely love this scent. It smells so good to me. If you're familiar with um, Abuelita Hot Chocolate, I think it's like a Nestle like brand or something like that. It's that Mexican hot chocolate that's like chocolatey, but it's sort of spicy at the same time. This is that exact same vibe, and I actually really love this. It brings me comfort and takes me back to like going to my grandma's house and her making like the hot chocolate, that Mexican hot chocolate. It's really, really nice, and I love this one a lot. Sorry if I'm sort of flying through these. I have so many that I'm trying to like get through them as much as I can, but those are all the single note ones that I have. The next ones that I have are their original blends. So these are ones that they created themselves. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is called Christmas in Egypt. Now, you guys, this one smells really, really good. It's really tart. And if you love a tart scent, then this is the one for you. It's got cedar, pink pepper, Egyptian flowers. It's got fruits from Cairo, from what I'm aware of. And it just smells beautiful. To me, this smells like a delicate white flower and cranberries, really tart cranberries. And it's just so beautiful. It's elegant, it's classy. I can see this working in spring, summer, fall. I don't know about winter. It could maybe work for winter. I'd have to wear it more. I wouldn't doubt though that this is gonna work for winter as well. But it's a really, really beautiful scent. The next one I have is Devilish. Now this one I feel like is so sexy. It's almost got like a fougere vibe, almost like La Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier, but like way better. I love this. I can easily see a man rocking this. I can see a really edgy girl rocking this if you're that kind of like bold girl that like likes to play with sort of unisex scents. I feel like this is really unisex. It's got bergamot. Mandarin orange, tonka bean, patchouli, pink pepper, and you really get that pink pepper, at least from my nose's perspective. That vetiver, oh man. And it just smells so good. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's sort of spicy, it's very clean smelling, it's a little warm, and it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And I highly suggest checking that one out if you're more of an edgy person and you like rocking those kinds of scents. The next one I have is called Enchanted Garden. Let's see if that'll focus or something. I don't think it'll focus on it. Well, it's Enchanted Garden. This one has got notes of jasmine, rose, gardenia, fresh fruit pulp, orange, bergamot. It's really beautiful. It really does capture that moment of being in a garden, but it's like a lush, wet garden after it rains and then the sun comes out and everything is sort of heating up but you get that sort of like wet ground smell at least in my opinion i get like a greenness that's like sort of wet and just supple and sort of lush and juicy and it's such a beautiful scent i highly suggest you guys check this out especially for summer and spring and late or early fall i should say i feel like this one is going to be really really good especially summer though this is going to be such a great wear and it's absolutely stunning and that's Enchanted Garden by Layered. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I don't have any perfumes in my collection that smell like that one, so that one's really fun. The next one has got a sort of a risky name. It's called F Me and it's really sexy. It's really, really sexy. This is a great like come closer to me scent. I feel like it sits a little closer to the skin, but it still has that projection. It still will, it'll waft in the air and stuff. So you'll get a nice sillage, you know, but this is going to be great in summertime. It's got mandarin, vanilla, jasmine, ginger, ambergris, sandalwood, and it's absolutely sexy. If you want to be that sexy person and wear something that's like juicy, because you get that mandarin a lot, but it's such a juicy mandarin. Like it's so like, 
mouth watering like you smell this and you want to eat it it smells so tasty and so sweet and it's sort of on that line of like black opium but if you took the coffee out left that vanilla note that it's known for and just replaced the coffee with like orange or something that's what this smells like absolutely stunning beautiful beautiful scent the next one is called fatal attraction this one has three notes it's cambodian jasmine amber and cashmere and wood and the only other perfume i know of that has those three notes is alien by mugler the one for women and i feel like this has that similar vibe but this one is slightly more aquatic and i feel like where alien is more appropriate for nighttime wear this is like its daytime counterpart and it's really nice like the projection is there it lasts on the skin it's got that jasmine that alien is known for and even though this is like an original creation it's got a huge similarity to alien and if you already love alien but it's a little too heavy for you to wear during the day check this one out absolutely stunning beautiful beautiful jasmine fragrance it's gorgeous really addictive too the next one that i have is actually one of my favorites as far as the original blends goes this is my all-time favorite and this one is called mia's blend gorgeous gorgeous warm cozy like wearing a sweater feel type vibe absolutely great for winter fall spring if it's still cold a little bit heavy for summer i'm not gonna lie you could probably still rock it in summer but you guys this is like legitimately a dupe for joe malone's myrrh and tonka and i love joe malone's myrrh and tonka but it's so dang expensive it's like 190 dollars for the bottle and it doesn't last that long like for such an expensive perfume this is like a fraction of the price and it lasts for days it's on your skin forever and it smells so good oh my god you get that myrrh you get that tonka that vanilla there's an almond note in this that's just so beautiful oh my god so good if you love a good lavender scent if you love myrrh you love almond tonka if that's your vibe check this one out it's gorgeous it's dark it's complex it's not overbearing it's sexy it's comforting it's such a vibe you guys i cannot suggest this enough out of the original blends this one is my personal favorite and this is the girl that i want to be 24 7. i want to be this comforting nurturing just sexy vibe at the same time it's absolutely beautiful now my last one that i have for my inspirations is layered signature not that this one is bad because i don't have a full size but i wasn't too sure if i was going to enjoy this one when i got it well when i was ordering because this was my one of my first purchases i think from layered and this one's got magnolia blood orange rose freesia amber jasmine peach musk and cedar i definitely get the cedar on the base i get that sort of peachy vibe i get those florals that come into play too on my skin it's very juicy it's a little sour not that that's a bad thing it could scare people away when they hear like oh it's sour it's not sour in a bad way but to me i get sort of this like sour kind of plumish note and i don't think this has plum in it but i sort of get like a plummy vibe like peach plum and like florals kind of dancing around it and it's quite nice actually i really do enjoy this one is it my favorite by any means no but i could see me getting some good use out of this one in the summertime especially if you're into those kinds of scents so i highly suggest you guys check that one out now these i have the most of and these are the inspired creations and they're inspired by other really popular perfumes out there that are sort of more expensive and on the niche side and designer side that are just really unattainable for a lot of people and i know that can be frustrating especially for us in the fragrance community there's a lot of scents that are just so ridiculously priced that like we are just never going to try them or you know wear them or be able to experience that perfume 
And what Layer does is they make their own interpretation of those perfumes or try to replicate those perfumes and make it affordable for everyone to enjoy. So I think that's a really cool concept. I really enjoy it. They do sort of like the feminine side of it because their parent company I think is the Alexandria company and they do sort of their own interpretations of other really popular scents but they basically focus on more unisex than men's scents and this is the female counterpart, the Be Layered company. But they all fall under the same house from what I'm aware of. And they've done such a great job with these. These are some of my favorites in my collection. I have a lot of niche, I have a lot of designer, I have so many different things. I constantly run back to my layered fragrances and I'm picking them up, smelling them off the cap, wearing them to work, wearing them out, wearing them everywhere. Their inspirations are some of my favorite. So the first one that I have is one of their newer releases. It's called Bella the Irresistible and it's an inspiration of Cassili from Parfums de Marly. Now I've never smelt Cassili, but if it smells anything close to this, then I know I'm gonna love it. It's got like beautiful notes of, oh my gosh, red currant, Bulgarian rose. It's got floral notes. It's got a plum note, mimosa, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean. It's just so juicy. On my skin, it just smells like the most juiciest peach that's been like sun-kissed and sitting outside. And I get that beautiful floral note too. And it smells like a bouquet sitting close by. Absolutely beautiful. Such a stunning scent. Going to be absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous for summer. And I'm gonna be wearing this so much. I can already tell now, it's gonna be one of my go-tos. The next one is called Dark Temptation. Now this is a inspired fragrance from Lancome's more expensive line, the Maison Lancome line. And it's an interpretation of Oud Bouquet, which I own the original reformulation. I have the bottle that sits on my nightstand over there. This smells so dang close to the original, it's not even funny. I will say this might not be for everybody. It's heavy on the oud, and the oud in this kind of comes off diesel-y, especially in the, the opening. The first few minutes of wearing this can be a little intense, a little much. People might be turned off by it. Let it sit on your skin, let it develop. It turns into the most delicious, kind of chocolatey scent. It's got rose, oud, saffron, vanilla, ugh, vanilla. It's got woodsy notes, absolutely beautiful. And it's so darn close to the original, which is really expensive too. And I'm, when I say original, I mean like the original original, not the one that comes in the newer bottle, but the original sort of mosaic looking bottle. It's a little bit denser, a little bit richer, a little bit more sweet. Not that the newer reformulation isn't good either, because I have the newer reformulation and I really do enjoy it. But that one is slightly different. This is really close to the original reformulation and I really, 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 really enjoy that one a lot. So my next one that I'm gonna talk about is a newer one to my collection. I just got this one not that long ago. I've had a sample of it and I had gone through the sample completely and that's Dolled Up by Layered. And this is an inspiration of YSL's Supreme Bouquet. You guys, this is stunning. It's tuberose, it's fruit, fruity notes, ylang ylang, jasmine, amber patchouli, musk, pear, pink pepper. It's so beautiful. I, when I smell this, I picture a beautiful girl, like in the old country with a basket full of flowers and she's walking around like, in the sun and the heat and the flowers are just wafting this beautiful like aroma of just floral goodness into the air like it's such a beautiful scent another one that i'm going to be going to during the summer over and over and over again it's winter right now and like i'm still reaching for this i'm wearing this to work i'm wanting to wear it for for everything it's a beautiful scent and i highly suggest you guys check this one out because it's beautiful so my next one is another one of my favorites from this line and this one is Eve's Parfum and it's an inspiration 
of Nectarine Blossom and Honey from Jo Malone. But this is way better, you guys. Like, don't even bother with the Jo Malone one. Like, trust me when I tell you. Save your coin. Go to Laird. Get you this one. So good. Like, oh my god, you guys. It's so juicy. It's so green. I get this really, like, green note in this one. It almost smells like green vines and, like, flowers and peaches and lemons and, like, oh my gosh, it's so hard to explain. It's like walking through a field with, like, a grove of lemon trees and, like, beautiful white flower bushes everywhere and just rolling around in it and frolicking and getting those whiffs of everything combined. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's got peach, nectarine, those green notes, that black locust, which kind of comes off as peachy to some people. So you get like a peachy vibe from this. Black currant, pedigreen, plum, vetiver, honey. Absolutely beautiful. Such a stunning fragrance. I cannot wait for summer because I'm going to be rocking the hell out of this one. I can already tell. I've literally never sprayed it. I only pick it up by the cap and smell it because it's too cold right now and I don't want it to get lost in this coldness that we have out here in Idaho. Anyway, the next one I have is none other than First Kiss, which is a dupe for Delina by Parfums de Marly. Delina is so hyped up on YouTube. Everyone wants to know what it smells like. Everyone's obsessed with it. I've smelt it before at Nordstrom's. I know what it smells like. You guys, this is a dupe, like 100%. Delina, Delina, Delina. Rhubarb, lychee, nutmeg, Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, petalia, cedar, vetiver, cashmere, and musk. Incense, beautiful scent. This is like the ultimate girly girl. You don't get girlier than this. It's beautiful, it's stunning. It's such a vibe, like, this is Delina. What can I say? If you guys were interested in trying out Delina, go ahead and get this. It's gonna last all day. I wear this, it lasts up to the next day. It's worth your coin. Trust me when I tell you, don't bother with Delina. If you can't afford it, don't put yourself in debt, honey. Go out and get you first kiss from Laird because it is that dang good. Trust me when I tell you. Trust and believe, honey. The next one that I have is First Kiss Exclusive. And this one is an inspiration of Delina Exclusive. Now this one is yummy, yummy, yummy. And it smells just like it. I've smelled the original as well. I'm very familiar with that scent. If you want that vibe, you want that First Kiss or that Delina vibe, this is it, except it's a lot more dense. It's a lot more sweet. It's very heavy on the vanilla. It's a very like candy-ish to me, but not childlike or like, it's not kiddish. It's a very grown up sweet. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got that vanilla. I got a lot of the pear in this one. It's got lime, lychee, amber, incense, oud, that rose. It's got woody notes. It's a lot heavier on the woody notes. Oh, it's really heavy on that vanilla, but it's so decadent in the best way. That pear really shines. I feel like the pear shines a lot more in this than the rose does. Where in First Kiss, like you get a lot more of the rose shining through with the rhubarb. You get a lot of pear and it's so yummy. If you're really into like yummy, fruity, juicy, super sweet but not sickly sweet scents then this is your vibe right here absolutely beautiful the next one i have is little black dress which is an inspiration of ysl's black opium it's a cult classic everyone knows black opium and you probably have smelt it on someone if you haven't put your nose to it you've probably smelt someone wearing it it's iconic it's got coffee white flowers Vanilla, orange blossom, pink pepper, jasmine, pear, patchouli, almond, cedar, licorice, cashmere, and wood. Like, it's an iconic scent. And this is a to a T, except this is way better. If you have a problem with, like, black opium lasting on your skin, check this one out. It's so much more better. I love black opium. I own black opium intense. 
this lasts so dang long on the skin and I have a hard time with fragrances lasting on me. Never had a problem with this one. So if you're really into that sweet sort of coffee, vanilla, florally vibe that Black Opium has to offer, check out Little Black Dress. So much cheaper, so much better. So dang good, trust me. The next one is Love Potion. This is an inspiration of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And this one is beautiful. The list are, or the notes on this are so long. I'm only gonna name a few. It's got tonka, cacao, jasmine, tuberos, almond, coffee, vanilla, sandalwood, praline, and it just keeps going and going and going. You guys, this is it. Literally. What else can I say? It smells beautiful. If you've smelt Carolina Herrera's Good Girl and you love it, this is a no-brainer. So much cheaper, lasts so much longer. Mm, it's so good. It's just so yummy. You really can't go wrong. The next one I have is my Sweet Dark Fantasy, and this is an inspiration of Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad, which is super hyped up on YouTube, and for good reason. It's a gorgeous scent. This is Jasmine May Rose Indian Tuberose. Narcissus, I think it's what it's called, Narcissus. Amber and Cedar. Gorgeous scent. On me, I get that sort of juicy fruit vibe. It almost smells peachy on me and so juicy. I definitely get that cedar base at the bottom. And for some people, that can be a little overpowering. For me, I absolutely love this scent. It's so yummy, it's so juicy, it's so elegant. It's like a grown up fruity perfume and I absolutely love this. If you're wearing this, you are that girl and you are gonna turn heads. It's my favorite one as far as the inspiration side goes. This is my favorite one from the Inspired line, hands down. Well, it's tied between two. This is the one tied for my number one and there's one other. So the next one that I have is Paris Nights. And this is an inspiration of Mongrelan's well, Mongrelan. Grelan's Mongrelan. And I, I've owned a Mongrelan. I gave that one to my mom. I love it. It's vanilla, lavender, iris, sandalwood, jasmine, bergamot, benzoin, licorice, patchouli, rose. So many beautiful notes. This is that same scent, but it's not exact. I feel like Mongrelan is a lot more powdery, a bit softer. This is like an intense version of Mongrelan, which I actually prefer. I prefer this over Mongrelan. You get that licorice note on this one so much more, and I absolutely love it. Licorice is one of my favorite notes, and it's so pronounced in this. It's a little bit edgier than Mongrelan, where I feel like Mongrelan is that like sort of beautiful mom vibe. This one is like beautiful mom's vibe. That beautiful mom vibe, but like her beautiful daughter. You know what I'm saying? It's edgier, it's beautiful. It still has that powderiness, that vanilla, that lavender, but it's just so much better in my opinion. Highly suggest you check it out. Now the other one, my last one, I just got not that long ago. Oh my gosh, and this is Sunshine Vibes from Laird. And this is an inspiration of Amouage Sunshine Woman. I love this. It's got one of my favorite notes ever in life. I love apricot. If a perfume has an apricot note, I probably love it. Like the other apricot heavy perfume that I own is Olympia Legend. And that one's like heavy on the apricot and I absolutely love it. It's so stunning, romantic, beautiful. This has a heavy apricot note in my opinion, or it smells like apricot. It doesn't really have apricot, but it's all manst Osmanthus, sorry, it's a hard flower to say. Almond, white tobacco, black currant, artemisia, papyrus, juniper, patchouli, magnolia, jasmine. And it's so beautiful. The white tobacco in this is very prominent, but I love it, you guys. Like, this radiates on the body. It sort of sits on the body and just pushes out. And it's so beautiful. It's the tobacco isn't like too masculine since it's a white tobacco. It's kind of delicate and it's very present. Like to me, I get the tobacco and I sort of get like a candied or not candied, but like a dried apricot sort of vibe. So like if you have ever had dried apricots, it almost smells like a dried candied apricot with like a really light tobacco. 
and I know they're such weird like combinations like dried apricots and like tobacco but it works and it's beautiful and I feel like the osmanthus and the almond is what makes it smell sort of apricot-y and I'm here for it I love this one one of my favorites if not the favorite tied with my sweet dark fantasy these two highly suggest you guys check out absolutely love them well that's all for my collection from layered i know this video is a little long and i might have rambled a little bit i tried to get through them as fast as i could i own so many from this house if you guys haven't checked out layered i highly highly suggest you guys check them out check out their facebook page check out the group set they have for layered you guys won't be disappointed. The quality is there. The price point is there. Everything is there when it comes to layered fragrances. And I cannot recommend them enough. So you guys, check these out. Everything will be linked down below. That's all I have to say. Till next time. Bye.